traditional southern style. It's big doors and a small sign to represent Bo's kitchen and bar room. Alex Prani is going to teach us how to make the ultimate gator buds. Wow. Alex Perani, head chef, Bo's Kitchen and Bar Room, and these are my fried alligator bites. All right, so here we have some red bell pepper diced into small pieces. We also have some alligator tail meat, which we've cut into about the same size, trailed any excess fat off or anything like that. We also have our batter, which we're going to be battering the meat in and then dredging in flour. What's Before the we batter fry. made out of? The batter is buttermilk. Mm -hmm. We put some nice spices, paprika, allspice, cayenne, black pepper, celery salt. Add a little bit of flour to thicken it up just so it coats really nicely. Take from there to just regular old flour and we fry. So you are just dumping one inch cubes of red pepper into the batter. Right, exactly. And the same with the alligator. We're just going to throw it all in there. I spent some time in New Orleans, and I got to eat lots of alligator. Fell in love with it. So they've been sitting in the batter for a couple minutes. We want to dredge them? Absolutely. So you've got a slotted spoon, so that way the batter can run through it. Yeah, yeah. If you just carry too much with the alligator into the flour, it's going to get really clumpy. We're really just going to kind of keep moving it around. So you see, like, now mostly the flour is starting to, starting to cling. The batter is starting to dry up, and you've got some really nice coated alligator. Yeah. You can just do that really oh, quickly. Oh, yeah, of course. And you kind of really get to see what you're going to be throwing Thank into the fryer you. there. That makes yeah. so much sense. So we're just going to drop them right into the basket, kind of shake them around a little bit so they're, if anything, clumped up. It's a gator bubble bag. We've got it down to when we see the right color, we know we're in the right place. I think that gator bath is about done. Yeah, we are just about there. Perfect. So we are fried, and we are almost to the bowl and ready to eat. All we really need to add, add a little bit of salt now in the bowl. OK. Toss that around. And here we have three different herbs that I think are really, really nice to work with especially with this dish. We have some just chopped up really finely lemon thyme, Ooh. a little bit of chive, and a little bit of chervil. And then we're going to do the same thing, just mix it around. The best part of fried food is always the dipping sauce. Absolutely. It's my favorite thing to look. I look forward to the dip sauce like I do the fried <laughs> food. So what are we going to make? OK, so what we typically like to serve this with is we call it our chili aioli. All we really do is just take a little bit of shallot and some chilies, blend it up to make a nice paste. And we're going to mix that into our aioli. And aioli is just a fancy word for fresh mayonnaise with garlic. Exactly. So we're just going to go straight in. Mm. Yeah. And we're just going to whisk it together. And, uh, Wait, that's it? That's it. Man, I was getting ready for like six more steps. This is tailgate perfect. Yeah, we keep it we we keep it nice and easy. Yes, if you want to find out how to make the perfect tailgate gator recipe, you got to go to tailgatefan.com so you can make the dipping sauce, the gator bites. Yo, oh, it's so easy. Chef Alex, thank you so much for teaching us the perfect Florida Georgia tailgate snack, the gator bite. Nick, while we're here eating gator, I hope you're not eating bulldog. Cheers to the gators and the bulldogs. Cheers.